Today, we are going to work on one of my favorite problem solving strategies. Today, we're going to call it drawing a diagram. Fancy talk for making a picture. So let's go ahead and take a peek at what we have at the top. Alicia is making a bracelet with four beads and four silver charms. Now, the way I do things like this, I'm going to go ahead and make my bracelet. I'm going to put one, two, three, four things on it, then one, two, three, four. There it is. So four of these are silver. Um, I guess instead of silver, I could just make them, let's make them blue. One, they're my silver ones. And then it said two of the beads are blue. Okay, so let's turn these into blue ones. Blue bead, blue bead. If this were the actual bracelet, it would be pretty ugly. Then it says the rest of these are green. So there's one and there's one. See how I've drawn a picture just of what they're telling me in the words. Then they want to know what fraction of the whole bracelet is made up of green beads. So they walk us through this slowly. I like to go um, sentence by sentence and then I draw a picture for each sentence. But they want you to read the whole thing and then um, think about what you know, make a plan, then solve it. Whichever way works for you, that's how I'm happy to have you do it. So what do we understand? Four beads, four charms, two beads are blue. And we need to know the whole fraction of the whole bracelet, not just the beads, guys, the whole bracelet that's made up of green. So draw it. Here's my ugly picture, but look, these guys are much fancier. They drew, um, drew for you one, two, three, four silver charms. Then they said, well, two of the beads are blue. One, two. Well, there are four beads all together. Here's the bead. Here's the bead. They want to know, okay, what's green? Well, these two are green. Two of them are green. Out of how many? What a bad two that is. Out of how many? Eight. And you can see that right there. Two eighths of the bracelet is made up of green beads. Listen, draw a diagram. I like to do it sentence by sentence, or you can read the whole thing through and then take it apart sentence by sentence. You're going to practice today.